Hey everybody, this is Fully Off and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Right, today I'm going to show you how to build an iron golem farm underground. Now before we get started, I need to point out a few do's and don'ts. Firstly, don't build this within 64 blocks of any other valid doors. That includes other iron golem farms, naturally spawning villages, villager breeders, your base if it's got a wooden door in it, anywhere that there might be a valid wooden door. If you build it within 64 blocks of another valid wooden door, the villages will merge together, the centre of this village will move somewhere else and you won't get golems spawning in your farm. You might get golems spawning somewhere else, but they won't be in your farm. So to start with, I'm going to show you how to build the iron farm underground. If you want to know how to build it underwater, I'll show you what to do towards the end of the video. But be warned, it's a lot more difficult. And if the idea of building it underground is to keep it secret, then building it under the sea is probably not the best idea. And I'll explain why when we get to the end. So in order for the Iron Golem farm to work, in effect, what you need to do is build a village. Uh, and uh, the village needs the minimum of 21 doors in it and a minimum of 10 villages in it. Now, there are a few iron golem farms out there. I'll put a, a link in the top right hand corner now of the one I designed, which is, in my humble opinion, one of the better ones for a single village iron golem farm. But there are a lot of them out there. But in order to get the doors underground to be valid, you need to grant them sky access. Uh, and it's not directly above the door either. The block directly above the door makes no difference whether it's a, whether it's there's a block or or sky. It's it's irrelevant. It's the blocks on either side above the doors that count. So what you need to do before you start building it, there's no point building the iron golem farm underground, only to find that when you're digging up, there's trees directly above your uh, directly above your iron farm or there's a massive lake above it or you've got lava above in one of the caves so you need to do a bit of groundwork before you do that so what you need to do to start with is work out where your doors are going to be put so you need to basically just lay out on the floor the uh, the area that the iron golem farm is going to cover and then put blocks down where your doors are going to go and as I say this is going to be different for every iron golem farm out there I'm going to assume that you're building mine so I'll stick the blocks down where my doors are going to go so I've laid out on the floor where the doors are going to go actually they're going to go several blocks further up but I just need to know what blocks I need to dig up to the surface through which is why I've just put down some temporary blocks down here so now what you need to do is get on the outside, obviously that's the inside of my farm there, get on the outside of the farm, look up, and they're the blocks that you're going to have to dig through all the way to the surface. So those six blocks there need to be dug out all the way to the surface, and that's going to, let's just put some doors down just to, to demonstrate. That's going to mean that there is sky access on this side of the doors. So we'll discount the blocks directly above the doors. They're irrelevant. It's only the blocks on the left hand side or well, it's the inside or the outside of the doors. The ones directly above make no difference uh, whether they're blocks or whether they're sky access. So by putting the by digging a hole all the way to the surface on this side of the doors, it means there are four blocks above the doors on the right hand side, but there are five blocks above the doors on the left hand side. So there is an unequal number of blocks above the doors, which makes the doors valid. And it's the same with these doors here. You discount the blocks directly above the doors because they don't count. It's the blocks to the outside that do count. So all of those six blocks, because they're on the outside of those six doors, and all of those six blocks, because they're on the outside of these six doors, need to be dug all the way to the surface. 
So then once you've got your uh, Iron Golem farm built, and it doesn't need light to work down here, but you really do need to light it up because if these guys get attacked by baby by zombies, baby zombies or other zombies or any other mobs spawn down here, they'll attack your golems anyway. So uh, you really need to be lighting this place up like a Christmas tree. But as long as you've got sky access, one block on the outside of the doors, all of the doors, it can't just be one, it has to be all of them. All the way down here. Doors are on. Doors are on this level. Sky exit on this block here. Five blocks on the inside. Four blocks on the outside. There you go. We have a working golem farm. Now, just to answer a couple of questions that I often get asked. People want to know if by putting more doors in here or more villages in here, you're going to get more spawns. And the simple answer is no. That's not how... Iron Golem farms work. Uh, the more doors you put in here, it just makes no difference at all. The, uh, the villages is a slightly different matter because if you've only got 10 villages, we've currently got 10 in this pod, we've got 10 in that pod, so we've got 20 villages, and they need to be within 12 blocks of the doors in order for the doors to be valid. So if you've got all of those 20 villages over in that pod over there, those doors will be valid. But these, these, most of these doors won't be valid. Therefore, the iron golems are going to be spawning over in that corner. And you're going to lose all of this spawning space. But if you've only got 10 villages in the iron farm, when there's, another, when there's a golem currently in the farm, the algorithm for spawning a second golem won't start. And that'll only start when the first iron golem has completely disappeared. That's if you've only got 10 villages in your farm. If you've got 20 villages in your farm, like we've got, and there's an iron golem in your farm here, then the algorithm for creating another golem will start working. So there's a chance that you'll get two golems in your farm. It's, it's a rare chance, but it's a chance. Uh, and it increases the, the, uh, the spawn rates very, very slightly. They'll still spawn on average every six minutes. But it does mean that while you've got a golem in the farm, if you've got a golem spawns right on the edge over here, making his way to the middle, while he's doing that, another golem won't spawn if you've only got 10 villages. If you've got 20 villages, then there's a chance that two golems will spawn in here at the same time. As I say, it's very remote, but it's possible. If you've got 30 villages in here, there's a very, very remote chance that you'll get three golems spawning in here. They'll only spawn on average every six minutes, but there's a very rare chance you'll get three because you've got 30 villagers. If you've got 40, there's a very, very, very rare chance that you'll get four spawned in here. OK, so having more villagers won't make the spawning rates any quicker. It just means that there is a chance that you'll get two or three golems in your farm at any one time but it will not increase your spawning rates neither will having more doors if you've got 20 villagers and 24 doors in your farm like there are here then you're probably going to spawn as quickly as having 50 villagers and 100 doors all the way around the outside of it so more doors and more villagers doesn't equate to more frequent spawns so now we've got a working golem farm underground I'll show you how to make a working golem farm under the sea well I'm not going to build another iron golem farm underneath the underneath the sea but I'm just going to show you what you need to do to validate the doors in the iron farm that are let's assume they're all the way down the bottom so this is exactly the same as the iron farm we've just built underground we've got our six sky access blocks that are on the outside of the doors. Our doors are going to be on this block here. All the way down by the by the iron farm. OK, so it's exactly the same. Now, at the moment, this won't work, even though you've only got water above you. This still doesn't allow sky access because the water, as far as doors are concerned, acts like a solid block. If you've only got 
sort of one, I think it's one layer, maybe two layers of water, you should be okay. But anything more than two layers of water acts like a solid block. So in order to validate the doors at the bottom now, you need to, di uh, you need to build a column of glass all the way up to sea level for every one of those glass blocks. So once you've done that, this is what you're left with. You're left with columns of glass sticking up out the top of the sea, allowing sky access to the doors that are way down there in your iron farm. Now this is what I meant when I said earlier that it's probably not going to be the best idea to build this under the sea if you want it to be a super secret iron farm because let's face it this is going to be visible for miles and miles especially at night because the bottom of the seabed is going to be lit up like a little Christmas tree. Now I suppose you could build this in a coral reef, uh, you could surround it by kelp, there are, you could build an island around it maybe, I mean if you wanted to build a, a little island above it then you could do that but it's a lot of work. But if you want an iron farm underwater then that's the kind of thing you've got to do. So that's what you need to do to build an iron golem farm either underground or under the water. I hope you've enjoyed this video everybody. If you have, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you've got any questions about iron farms or villager breeders, then leave them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer every single comment I receive. So thank you very much for watching. This is Fully Off and I'm out of here.